TCM.com or call 888-9-TCM-SHOP. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Welcome to TCM, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. With only a few days left in our annual 31 Days of Oscar Festival, we have another Academy Award-nominated musical for you. Up next, a Best Picture Oscar nominee from 1971, Fiddler on the Roof. By the late 1960s, American movie-going habits had changed considerably. Led by films like Bonnie and Clyde and Midnight Cowboy, movies were edgier, grittier, more real, and more violent than ever. And of course, nothing is more of a fantasy and less realistic than a musical. Yet somehow, in the middle of this reality revolution, producer Walter Mirisch and director Norman Jewison managed to make a hit musical. Adapted from the long-running Broadway show, Fiddler on the Roof is the story of Tevye, a poor Russian Jew in 1905, struggling to accept the changes the modern world is bringing to his family. In the 1960s, much of the world was similarly struggling to accept changes being ushered in by the modern era. By 1971, the play had been seen and adored by millions of people all over the world, partly because of its universal themes of faith, family, and tradition, but mainly because of those songs, Sunrise, Sunset, If I Were a Rich Man, and To Life, among many others. The musical score was adapted by a young composer, John Williams, and it earned Williams his first Academy Award. He's earned four more since, but what's even more astounding is how often John Williams has been nominated 49 times to date, incredible. From 1971, the winner of three Oscars, Fiddler on the Roof. 